This is Call 12 for Action. A scary ride along the Los Angeles highway. The driver of a Toyota Prius says he couldn't get his car to stop. The question is, would you know what to do if your car suddenly accelerated? Problem solver Susan Hogan joins us now with more. The scenario is terrifying. You're driving along when suddenly your car takes off. What would you do first? Unfortunately, your first instinct may be dead wrong. The driver of this 2008 Prius says he will never drive it again. So I was on the brakes pretty healthy. It wasn't stopped, it wasn't doing anything to it, and uh, just kept speeding up. Sykes called 911 from a San Diego highway yesterday saying his gas pedal was stuck and his car was topping 90 miles an hour. A patrol car pulled up alongside him and told him to push down on the brake pedal and apply the emergency brake. Sykes' car did eventually come to a stop. What would you do if your car suddenly accelerated out of control? Most drivers we spoke with have no idea. It's beyond me what I would do. Would you know? Probably not. So what should you do? Well, first of all, you put your car into neutral. Then press the brake pedal hard and pull over to a slow stop. And then shut off the car. The experts also say this is what you should never do. Never pump the brakes. You're going to lose your power assist if you pump the brakes. Never shut the car off or take the key out of the ignition while driving. If you shut the car all the way off, you can lose your power steering assist and your power braking. But Kane says in many of the sudden unintended cases reported, victims thought they were in neutral, but really weren't. He blames a bad design of the gear shift that makes neutral hard to find. It's not they couldn't get it to go into neutral, is that they were making a mistake by shifting it into the upshift. And by doing that, the car continues to be in a drive mode. That's why it's so important to practice putting your car into neutral so you're prepared. By the way, the owner of that Prius says he received a recall notice for the floor mat problem. But when he took his car into the dealership two weeks ago, he says the dealership insisted his car wasn't part of the recall. He didn't question it. However, according to government documents, the 2008 Prius is included in that floor mat recall. If you have a consumer problem you need help solving, contact our Call 12 for Action Center Monday through Thursday from 11 until 1, hotline 228-1850. If you're interested in becoming a call...